Hi, in this video, we will introduce digital logic. Not to teach you everything about it, but give you a glimpse of how things work. In digital logic, we have two states. The true state is going to be mapped to a high voltage, in our case 3.3 volts, and a false state is going to be mapped to 0 volts. And the way this is going to work is around two transistors. The first is a P channel. The P channel has three pins. It has a gate. It has a source. And it has a drain. And the way the P channel works is if there is a positive voltage, a positive voltage between the source down to the gate, then this transistor will be on and can conduct current down from source to drain. The other type of transistor also has three pins. It's called an N channel. And the N channel has a gate, and this one's the drain, and this one's the source, but it works differently. In the N channel, a positive voltage between the gate and the source will turn the N channel on, but now the current will go in this direction from drain to source. And what we're going to do is to combine these two transistors to make a gate. And the first one we're going to build is a NOT gate. The NOT gate has an input, which can be true or false, and an output, which is the opposite. So true goes to false, and false goes to true. And the way we're going to build it is we're going to tie the two gates together here and that will be our input. And we're going to tie the two drains together here, and that will be our output. And then we're going to tie this source here to 3.3 volts. And we're going to tie this one to ground. <coughs> now let's see how it works. If the input were true, okay, so if the input were true, that means it is 3.3 volts. And that will create, across this transistor, you'll see there's 3.3 volts in this direction. And this transistor will then become on. But over here, we see we got 3.3 volts to 3.3 volts. And so there's no voltage across the source gate of the P. And this one will be off. And if this transistor's off and that one's on, we can see there's zero volts, that becomes zero volts. The other case is also easy to see. Now, if the input were a false, that means it'd be zero volts here. And on the end channel, we have zero volts to zero volts, which is no drop, and so this one will go off. But over here, we have three volts down to zero volts, and so we see a positive voltage between the source and gate of the p-channel, and it will come on and conduct. So if this transistor is on and conducts, this three volts shows up at the output as three volts. And there you have it. True goes to false, and false goes to true. And this is just a glimpse of how digital logic works inside the computer.